Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video, I wanted to share with you guys how I take notes on my iPad as an engineering student. If you're new here, hello, my name is Alex and I currently study aerospace engineering at the University of Manchester here in the United Kingdom. Before we start with the video, I wanted to give out a disclaimer and that's that you don't need an iPad to do well at school. I feel like a lot of students watch a lot of YouTube videos about how to take notes on an iPad, how good an iPad is, but I hope you guys don't feel pressured to buying one. If you don't, if you can't afford it or you don't think you need it, then you really don't have to buy it. If you are looking into investing in one, then really think about which iPad you need. If you are just a regular student and don't really want to do some content creation, then I suggest you get the cheapest iPad that works with a pencil, but if you're more of um, a content creator kind of person and student then I do suggest you invest a bit more so <coughs> sorry so um, before I got my iPad I've been really researching for like a whole year to see if I really needed it I made a list of cons and pros of why I should get it I got mine six months ago and I'm really glad I did I feel like it is a good investment for what I use it for and so yeah really think about it and don't jump into just buying one latest one. To take all of my notes, I use an app called Notability and it's around £8.99 here in the UK. Um, I also have good notes but I haven't really gotten into using it. Notability works just well for me. So a tip I have for you guys is that if you have friends who already own an iPad and have the apps that you need, then kindly ask them if they can install those apps on your device using their iCloud. Once they log out, then that app will remain in your device unless you have to renew it, which would then mean they have to log back into your iPad and install it and all of that. So that's what I did for mine. Um, mo most of my friends have iPads and so what we did was we exchanged a few apps. For example, I purchased no Notability and they gave me good notes or for example, Procreate. And so that's a really good way to save a bit of money because I know it can be expensive on top of buying the iPad itself. I also wanted to share with you guys how I organize my notes and this is something I've seen from Daniel Tamago who is really one of my favorite YouTubers. In his video on iPad note taking, he shared how he uses and organizes it. So this is what I did as well. For every semester at university, I made a folder and in that folder, I have the different modules or subjects that I have for that semester. So for example, I usually have six modules and so that means in that folder, you would find six different subjects. And I feel like that's the best way to organize it. Another tip I got from him is that because Notability doesn't really have any free templates as far as I'm aware, um, what I do to have a monthly planner is I go to Google Calendar, I screenshot the monthly overview and I use that screenshot into a document in Notability and use it as a planner. And that's how you get one for free. So on to the actual note taking. As an engineering student, I don't really like making notes. I feel like it's quite passive and it's not very useful when it comes to revision. Practicing problems is better for me. So I usually just annotate the PowerPoints I'm provided during the lesson and that's what I would really call my notes. But we also have professors that don't really like that sort of teaching and what they do is they write on whiteboards, which is completely fine, but that means I have to take notes from scratch. So what I do to make my note taking more efficient and useful is I color code and it's pretty self-explanatory. You basically just use a bunch of different colors for each different purpose. So for example, for my main information and diagrams, I use blue, then I use purple for when I have to make labels or add extra information that I don't want in blue and I want it to stand out a bit more, I use purple. And then for when I have to do working out or any formulae, I use black. For when we have live lectures and the professor explains something that's not already written in his notes or on the blackboard, I usually write it in dark blue so that it solidifies my knowledge and it shows that it's something that he didn't really write on the board because it could be important, it could come up. And also when I have a classmate who might ask a good question, then I also write that in dark blue. To solidify my knowledge. Now the essential thing to do when you are 
doing notes and color coding is that you keep the colors the same throughout the notes i know that seems very obvious but if you ever have the urge of using a completely different color then don't do it or it will get messy and confusing for you i also recommend you keep it to four or five colors only because otherwise it will just look too different and yeah it will be a bit confusing now color coding might seem a bit too tedious and if you're not do using a digital um, sort of setup then it might be a bit too long for you to keep on changing colored pens but i assure you it is very useful and it really helps you when you have to start revising for the exam i'm a strong advocate of making formula sheets and it's pretty self-explanatory but if you didn't know formula sheets are basically it's basically a page where you have all of the formula you will ever need for that exam or for that module and so what i usually do is i do that before i have a big assessment or before i have an assignment and having color coded my notes really helps because it just means i have to look at the black um the black stuff that's on my notes and just copy and paste it into a different document and that's my formula sheet done for me and so it really helps me save a lot of time so my main points is to color code your notes um, make sure you use the same colors throughout your um, notes um, keep it to three or four colors if possible so that it's not too messy so that's the end of the video thank you guys for watching if you liked it please give it a like and consider subscribing for more videos like this so i hope you guys are doing well and see you on my next one bye